Tant que vous l'avez, on n'a pas poupé. Tant que vous l'avez, on n'a pas une poupée. Nos enfants pays Maurice, la France est la main dans la main. Nous montrer solidarité. Nos enfants pays Maurice, nos enfants pays Maurice, la France est la main dans la main. Nous montrer solidarité. Nos enfants pays Maurice, nos enfants pays l'arc-en-ciel, nos enfants tout en danse. Pour le ministre du Travail, Shaquille Mohamed, le président de la République n'a pas le droit d'intervenir dans la présentation d'un projet de loi selon la Constitution. Section 31 of the Constitution, Chapter 5, clearly provides for the following. 31.1. There shall be a parliament for Mauritius which shall consist of the President and a National Assembly. The President of the Republic has only one role. Once this parliament has voted a law, It's sent to him, and he has to simply assent, or he sends it back, and it's sent back to him, and he has to assent. That is the role of the President of the Republic when it comes to him forming part of the Parliament of Mauritius. There is no need to consult, be it the Electoral Commissioner, the Electoral, Electoral Supervisory Commission, the Electoral Boundaries, or the President, or no one needs to be consulted because Parliament is sovereign, you bring this to this house and the house precisely has to debate on it and has to vote on it. So what I'd like to say here, and I'll say it very, very clearly. You can easily have members of the opposition come and say other, otherwise. But here I'd like to say one thing. We have heard the leader of the opposition say that he will go to the Supreme Court. The opposition, Honorable Boda said, they will go to the Supreme Court. And Honorable Boda, sorry, I will not, I cannot forget that. What is really shocking is Honorable Boda was in a, was, was in a committee together with me when there was a ministerial committee looking into the local government bill with Honorable Aimé. He was together in that committee. And obviously he was reporting to Honorable Jagnat. And what is even more shocking is that when he was in that committee, Apart from all smiles, there was never an iota of a word pronounced by him, not even in the corridors of a committee, not even in the kitchen, not even in a parking lot, not even on a phone call, that he did not agree with anything that was provided for in that bill. That is the truth. Why is it that Honorable Jagnat did not say a word when he was there? Why is it? And today, you come and smile. You come and give us a shirk on your mouth to come and pretend to you that you are whiter than white and that you did not ascribe to anything that this government was doing? Is this really parliamentarian? What I'm really shocked about is how we can really change, not vest. Change it because once one, you were here, everything was good. When you go there, you come and say something else. This is what the people must know. This is what the people must really know the truth about the MSM and the way they carry themselves out simply because they want the taste of power like a vampire wants the taste of, taste of blood they will do anything and are up to anything in order to gain power what I'd like to also say with regards to the wish of the opposition to go to the Supreme Court go by all means be quick if you really think and you are credible If you have got credibility in you, members of the opposition, I shall count the days and the minutes and the seconds and the time that it will take you to go to that Supreme Court. And if you delay, it will be one nail in your coffin, in your political coffin, that we will, I will enter and I will smile in front of that coffin.